good to be the king. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am your Canadian Twitter champion and first ever Omega Luke fantasy booking faction champion. Now, you're wondering, Kyle, why did it take so long for this video? Kyle, what's it like to be the devil champ? Kyle, when will you stop stroking your ego? Right now. So, first of all, took so long for this video because I was working. I, I'm a commoner outside of Twitter. I work as a security guard, so it's practically whenever they need me and I go. Secondly, stuff happens, man. Anyways, we're, we're, we're getting away from the point here. <sighs> what was it like to win Omega Luke's fantasy booking faction? Honestly, starting at the bottom, at, at 10th, just barely getting on the board from week one was, was wild. It was, it was one of those things that I never, ever thought that I would, I would be at the top, honestly. And... Just by constantly coming back and constantly, constantly working tooth and nail, scratching my way up the leaderboard, I did it. I won. But one, one man other than me is the reason why I'm double champ today, and that's Omega Luke. You see, Omega Luke and I followed each other on Twitter not too long ago after I enjoyed some of his podcasts on Spotify. I, I found them to be A1 top dog. And we, we're, we're Twitter friends. There's nothing more. We, you know, I consider him to be my bro like a brother to me. And yeah, anyways. So, Omega Luke came up with this idea, the fantasy booking faction, and it's where you take four to five wrestlers and you put them in a fantasy faction and Omega Luke grades them on points. Highest being 10, lowest being 1. The points accumulate throughout the seasons, and they grow exponentially. People can move up, move down throughout the board, and they practically are fighting for positions, which, again, was where I started. So Luke came up with this idea, and I... I enjoyed it very much and I I really feel that everybody else is missing out on Omega Luke. Omega Luke is an A1 YouTuber podcaster. He has a spot on Brain Buster Radio. He's on Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere as you can think possible and yet he's being slept on which is unfair. Omega Luke is a quality content creator and wi without without him this wouldn't have happened. So, Luke, you were the first one I'm here to thank for this title. And I got to say, man, it was a wild ride for 10 weeks fighting tooth and nail and Maggie's got a new home, buddy. So, thank you. I appreciate everything you do. And if you're not subscribed to Omega Luke on YouTube, 
listen to his podcast on Spotify. Even do Omega Loop Gaming. He games too. Football League, phenomenal. If you're not doing that, you're missing out. So, Luke, thank you. Secondly, I want to thank every competitor in the Fantasy Booking Faction tournament or league standings, so on and so forth. Starting with Mike Baker, the man who came one point close, close, close to almost defeating me. And to Mike, I say, damn man, I, I honestly didn't expect this. I didn't expect to win, but it was a hell of a battle, and I'm glad that I came and fought against you, because you're one hell of a competitor. Each and every week, you nailed the fuck out of those factions. Even the week that you missed, I was kind of upset, because you, you just had that knack, and I, I honestly can't wait to see what else is in store. Who knows? You, you might join the Champs Club. I, I really hope you do, because you, you deserved it, honestly. So, thank you, Mike, for giving up one hell of a fight, and to the rest of the competitors in this fantasy booking faction league. I know where it's... Well, not where it's been, but I know what it's like to be at the bottom, and I know what it's like to lose and have that practically eat you up. But I'm here to tell you something. If you keep trying and keep involving yourself, you are going to get some wins. So, don't give up. Season 2 is coming around, like, in the near future. I don't know when. I'm right now on the championship run of this. So, again, don't give up. Put in the hard work. And who knows, you might... You might get to where I am. But finally, this is to anybody who is competing in Season 2, and so on and so forth. You do realize what a king will do to keep his crown. He'll fight tooth and nail. He will kick any enemy's ass just to keep it. And don't expect anything less of me. I am keeping Maggie, I'm keeping Goldie, and if you think you can just come into the kingdom, knock on my door, and immediately think that it's over for me, you got another thing coming. I came from 10th and made my way up to 1st. I'm ready for another battle. You want some? Come get some. Season 2, coming soon. Champ out.